Hello everyone. My name is Benedetta Elici. I am the managing director of Tazebuds Eastern and Riverine Cuisine, Nigeria Limited. I want to use this medium to call the attention of well-meaning Nigerians and concerned parents to Green Spring Secondary School, Awoyaya, where my son attends. Despite my serving them with a duly filed motion for a stay of execution and appeal, Green Spring School, Awoyaya, went ahead to release my son to my ex-husband, Paul Odekina, which in my humble opinion is an error in their interpretation of the law as concerns stay of execution and appeal. For a case which is only in the first instance and can go as high as the Supreme Court of Nigeria before decisive measures can be taken. In this instance, maintaining status quo should have been the norm as against taking steps that in my humble opinion seem very prejudiced and mischievous. To say that I am totally disappointed is an understatement for a school that claims to be child-centered. Prior to this, we had a standing agreement on paper that my son will spend his Christmas holidays with his father and the Easter holidays with me. I ensured that my son spent his Christmas holidays with his father. But getting to my turn for the Easter holidays, my son was released to my ex-husband, Paul Odekina, despite letters from my legal team to the school informing them to honor the appeal and the stay of execution. None of the other schools my children attend made such an ignorant blunder. After receiving my application for a stay of execution and appeal, thereby confirming my suspicion of a collusion between the management of the Green Spring Secondary School, Awoyaya, and my ex-husband, Paul Odekina. My question for Green Spring Secondary School is, for an organization like yours that has been in existence for over 30 years, I believe you must have an experienced legal team to advise on the implications of a stay of execution and appeal. Why did the Green Spring School management choose not to maintain the status quo despite being duly served? Attached is a pre-action letter put together by my legal team, which was served upon the management of the Green Spring Secondary School, Awoyaya. And they were given seven days to respond to this letter. Up until this moment, the school has decided to keep mute on the subject. I believe that after this, the management of Green Spring Secondary School would do the needful. In the event that the management of the Green Spring Secondary School fails to respond to this, I would have no other option but to seek legal redress. Thank you. Hi guys, I'm Daddy Freeze, convener of the Free the Sheeple Movement and leader of the Free Nation in Christ. I greet you and I bring glad tidings. I'm reacting to a video I saw on Taze Bud's page where she said Green Spring School prevented her from spending time with her child because they refused to acknowledge a stay of execution that was served on them. And they proceeded to hand over her child to her ex, despite a prior agreement that suggested that she should have the child for the Easter holidays after she willingly allowed her ex to have the child during the Christmas period. 
I'm not very learned when it comes to legal matters, but I personally believe some things are pretty much straightforward. It's like you're in a plane and the pilot announces we have some clear air turbulence. How much aviation understanding? Do you need to have gone to ground school? Do you need to have been behind uh, a cock or in a cockpit for 1,000 hours to be able to figure out that clear air means no clouds, air is clear, turbulence, plane is shaking? Think about it. What does stay of execution mean to you as a layman? It means stay, stop, freeze the execution carrying out what you want to carry out stop there's a stay on it so if you were duly served i'm talking to green springs right now because she mentioned them if you were duly served with a stay of execution why didn't you honor the stay of execution it's a big question you see i hate it when women get denied justice in this part of the world I abhor it, especially with regards to their children. How many people really get up to fight for women in Nigeria? I also would advise the school not to meddle in a family matter. You have a stay of execution. Hand the child over to the mom. What's so hard there? Or is there anything else inside that we are not knowing and we've not told us? This, in my humble opinion, is an outright absurdity. If it's her turn to have a child, let her have a child. Not only is it her turn, she showed you stay of execution. And you don't understand stay of execution. Ah, I don't understand this one. No. Like I said earlier on, my understanding of legal matters might be limited, but my understanding of human matters is not. I know what it does to a woman when she can't see her children. And I don't think it is fair if she, like she said, if she truly did what she said in that video, she gave a child to the ex in December during the Christmas holidays. When it was her turn, why didn't she get the child? It saddens me when women have to go to social media to seek justice. It saddens me. And she said she wrote the school a letter. Una no get thing where you respond to letter. Must they carry everything to social media? Bishop now don't they talk say too many things they social media. If una respond to letter, they no go carry una con social media. This is annoying. I'm sorry, but I'm pissed. Let the woman see her children, Abi. Ah, they were their logo. If the judgment was good and they were happy with the judgment, would they contest it? And let me tell you, my little understanding, like I said, I'm not an expert, but I understand that if you're given a judgment at first instance, you can contest it in the Court of Appeal. And even if you're not satisfied with what the Court of Appeal says, you can contest it as high as Supreme Court. So what is this? She also said none of the other schools gave her this hassle. They all understood what a stay of execution meant. So what's the issue here? Like I said earlier on, I'm not an expert on legal matters. Lawyers, get into the DM, um, get into the comment section. Tell us what do you think about this matter? What really is a stay of execution? What is an appeal? Uh, and what should happen in the instance where there's a stay of execution? Thank you, guys. Take care of yourselves. See you next time.